mm, as it is now a whole lot of things is actually happening in the political zone everywhere scattered as bishop oye they pulled lambast and accused and even insulted president bola met Tinubu during the sunday service and he even accused him of everything that is actually going on in the country with every back down and every downfall that has befallen nigeria presently he even blast and accused president bola met Tinubu as it is now bishop oye cannot survive this arrest that is going to be done on him as it is now he should be on the run as president bola met Tinubu is actually planning on how to arrest him and you see in this video a whole lot of allegations has been put on the security personnel of nigeria presently with every perpetration the evil perpetration and the evil plans and everything they have been doing behind that most nigeria do not know about you will see in this video one of the journalists that was abducted he was actually kidnapped he was not even arrested he was kidnapped by these sorts of people that we call our security personnel in this country you will see everything in this he exposed the way they abducted him the way they kidnapped him and the way he was even released it was more like he was kidnapped in this country you see a whole lot of evil have perpetrated by this set of people that we call our security personnel you will see in this video they will actually exp everywhere was bust up my people share this video to every social media platform if you cannot share like it give it a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for us we'll be back in the gfa the old of crime scene is happening in the street again the center of political news celebrity gossip religious gossip and happiness in the society. Join us, the voice of Africa. Welcome you to Lagipok TV show where we bring you political, celebrity and religious gossip. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, do well to click the red subscription button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you anytime we drop another trendy video. Now with everything that is actually happening in this country, I can categorically tell you that there's nobody in this country that is actually enjoying everything that is happening to this country presently. Nobody can come out and say that what Nigerians are experiencing now is the best thing that is actually happening to them. And you will see even the blind can, can feel what's happening to Nigeria presently. You will see in this video, Bishop Oyedepo cry proof profusely as he was lamenting in the church during the Sunday service as he was saying everything that is going on in this country. A whole lot of Nigerians are complaining bitterly about everything that is going on in this country. You will see in this video, Bishop Oyedepo lambast President Bola Metunubu. Nobody even expected it on the Sunday service. He just switched to it and he started saying everything and he even said that what Nigerians need now is a deliverer, not just a leader. And you will see with everything that is going on in this country, a whole lot of Nigerians are begging for food out there and that's not the best thing for the country presently. A whole lot of Nigerians are begging for food. You will see a whole lot of palliative trucks that they loot and they will scatter everything and take a whole lot of food home is because of the level of hunger that has been falling into the country that has been falling this country my people a whole lot of nigerians are crying you will see the level of abduction and kidnapping that has engulfed the whole nation a lot of people are complaining presently about it if you want to travel you have a fear in you you have doubts in you and presently nigerians are even doubting the security personnel in this country all the security system in this country a whole lot of nigerians are doubting them with all the with the evil perpetration that they are melting on nigerians every day you will see in this video one of the journalists even came out and blasted and Evil exposed the whole lot of things that have been doing, and you see the whole lot of person will just leave their homes, and you will not see that you will not see them for months, you will not see them for days, and you think that they will actually be kidnapped by bandits, not knowing that it's even the security personnel in the country that are even doing all those things. This set of people that are supposed to protect Nigerians are the one even melting this evil or not. My people, you will see everything in these videos. I'm going to be playing everything as so you people was crying profusely as was saying everything that is actually happening to Nigeria. My people, stay back, watch this video, and after the video, we'll wrap up. What we need now is not a leader, it's a deliverer. And I'm telling you the thing. Almost nothing remains except the church that can be called a nation. Now listen to me. I'm saying this, you can see it yourself. What event will any system run in Nigeria that will bring 50 nations together? The only the only thing of value to the world today is the church in Nigeria. Economy, battered. Security, zero. I make a pretangaka. So, a hundred million of you can't keep me silent. A hundred million of you can't keep me silent. Lord, send us a deliverer. You see, Send us 
Send us. In. I'm not a beneficiary of zero from government. I'm not a copy artist and go. I've been called into prophetic book before they started doing their politics. Yes, sir. So it's not part of it. My part, there's nothing I've said about this land that has paid. Kakompi Keto in Brankan Qatar. Now, the destiny of Nigeria is hanging. Oh, it's hanging. It's hanging. The money distributors are busy distributing. They are never tired. Ameku Praketanora. Church all over the world. Diaspora, in Sapporo, wherever you are. You love Nigeria. Lift up your voice. God, send us. send us a deliverer and give us rest again. Go ahead and pray, everybody. Send us a deliverer and give us rest again in Nigeria. Send us a deliverer and give us rest in Nigeria again. Send us a deliverer and give us rest in Nigeria again. Brother send us a deliverer and give us rest in Nigeria again. Send us a deliverer and give us rest in Nigeria again. Send us a deliverer and give us rest in Nigeria again. Give us rest, Nigeria. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. I couldn't watch a human being being set on fire. I, I couldn't watch it. But I told you 2015, you are beginning for trauma without knowing. Omopa, we are long overdue for rest. This land is long overdue for rest. He sent them a deliverer in Israel. And the land had rest for 80 years. I'm not a politician, I'll never be one. I'll never carry a box for people to vote for me. Never. 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 I've left that realm, sir. No, long time. Never. Long time. But this land must have rest. Must. 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 Nigeria must have rest. You should be able to travel to Kano and be at peace. Yes, sir. Travel to my degree and be at rest. Yes, sir. Go on the road and be peaceful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Many don't care what happens to nobody. Yes, sir. They don't care. Ameko Tisi Grianoga. They care for nothing. I had been quiet. I said I will not say a word until God puts in my mouth. And I was praying one day, said, what the land needs is a deliverer. The Lord told me, Lord. right now we have a big time Congress going on, redemption camp, with multitudes from outside the country. There are many, many conferences in Nigeria today. It is the church giving a, a you know, a, a face of honor to Nigeria. Yes. Yes. I know, I know, I know. And we are at peace. They are in crisis. We are at peace. But we want 
the well being yes. of every mortal man yes. in this country. Mm. And as the Lord lives, as we pray, yes. the deliverer will march. It's on the high team. Good afternoon, my colleagues. Firstly, I would like to thank everybody. Everybody, because it was due to your efforts that uh, these people were moved. If not, I was kept in communicado. Nobody knew where I was until even this morning when I, when I was asked to call somebody and I called your me. Well, let me tell you the genesis of uh, this matter. On Friday, March 18th, I was in my house in Lagos. I was watching journalists hang out with my seven-year-old son. Then suddenly, I saw soldiers burst into the sitting room. I said, what? I stood up. I stood up. Then I looked beyond them and I saw my wife and my one-year-old boy crying in their middle behind them. And I said, what happened? She was not telling me that uh, they came to her shop and arrested her and asked her to take them to where I was. So I said, okay. I said, that's fine. And I asked the officer who led them, who are later identified as Colonel Lawa, if I could know his identity and what they were looking for me for. He said, no, that we are from the military and we are here to arrest you. Immediately he seized my phones. He had earlier seized my wife's phones. Immediately he seized my phones. Then I said, okay, since I was just wearing boxer shorts, I said, let me get inside the room and put on something. Then some of them also followed me into the room. Then I took my, this shirt and the, the trousers. And then they took me. By the time I got downstairs, I saw soldiers everywhere inside the compound. They were everywhere. They are taking position. When we got outside the gate, I saw about three vehicles. They came in about three vehicles. You know, all kinds of people were there. Army personnel, Air Force personnel, DIA, and then some others, all fully armed. Then they bundled me into the vehicle. And then we started going. At first, I thought they were taking me to DMI in Apapa. I was wondering whether that place was still in existence. But when we got to uh, the Air Force base, they made a detour and entered the base. And then they took me straight to the, in front of the office of the Nigerian, the National Air Defense Force Corps, where, you know, we now waited we waited for about three hours. I didn't know they were waiting for a military aircraft to come from Abuja to pick me. We were there. After a while, when the air aircraft came, then somebody came to me and said, give me your glasses. Before then, they had already uncuffed me. Then somebody came and said, give me your glasses. I gave him the glasses and then they put a blindfold on me. And then they moved me into the aircraft and then we took off and we landed in Abuja. I didn't know it was in Abuja. I didn't know we were in Abuja. I didn't know where we were. We landed. When we landed, they took me straight, still blindfolded, took me straight and they took me to their office. Immediately we got there, they put leg cops in addition to the hand cops. They put leg cops. I was wondering whether I had been named as a coupist. I don't know. Then they took me in. They took off my clothes, removed my trousers. I was left with my boxer shorts. They took everything. Still blindfolded, they took me in and took me into a cell. At first, they put me in a a cell, cell nine. There, I was left with the legs, leg and the hand cuffs. 
and even at the point one of the officers came and tightened the right leg and the right hand tightened it then i was there groaning in pains and they didn't lose him that until about two or three days after that was when they losing that and by the time they did that the right part of my body was getting numb if i up to this moment and i'm talking to you i can see feel the numbness here the back of my hand and the and my right leg and even my left hand i can see feel the numbness from the you know uh, effect of the handcuffs and the ha uh, leg cuffs so they took me in that was on friday night and they left me there then on monday they changed the cell to what they consider to be a better cell cell six you know which was of course a better cell and later they took me to see the doctor they took my blood samples they took my urine and they asked me you know questions about my health and all that and then they provided me later provided me some medications and then that same monday i was called for questioning and they were asking me about uh, certain stories that um, first news had carried they first asked me the first some one of them first told me that uh, i was one of those abusing the chief of defense intelligence i said how he said we did a story i said it was a general story well, they didn't say much on that anyway. Then they also asked me about a story we carried about um, the chief of chief of uh, staff to the president. I think that was the major thing. That's why I told some people earlier that those behind my arrest are people in the corridors of power who are not happy with what first news is doing and they are bent on taking their own pound of flesh and that was how you know we started and on tuesday they called me again they asked me to write the statement i write i wrote the statement they had gone through my phone they had seen you know my source and all that so i wrote the statement then they asked me to go on Tuesday, they called me. I told them, I still stood by my statement. They asked me to go, and then they left me. They left me in the cell since then. You know, I was left in the cell until um, this morning. No, until last night, when they called me and said I should call somebody in Abuja that will come and guarantee my release. And then I gave them the number of um, Mr. Yomi Odunuga. He's my brother, he's my elder brother, and he's a very good, caring friend. In fact, he brought me into journalism some 27 years ago when, he joined, when I joined Punch. And he has always been there for me. So, I called, they called him, and this morning, you know, this morning they called him again. They called him, I think that should be about before 6 a.m., right? They called him. And, you know, they were even, you can imagine that inconvenience. You know, and they told him, you will have to come to somewhere around the Ecowas Secretariat to pick me up. I was wondering, in fact, I thought they were asking him, they were asking him to come to the office. They didn't do that. They asked him to come to somewhere around the Ecowas Secretariat to pick me up. As if I was uh, some item. You can imagine. So, <laughs> so they dragged that, dragged that, dragged that, then eventually, you know, he came, they took me somewhere under the bridge in Abuja here, where they also asked him to come. And when he came, I was happy, he also came with uh, the doctor, you know, and they asked him to sign some papers, he did sign the papers and they released me to them. Um, I would like to say this, given the events, the series of events, I want to say that 
my life is not safe because they have everything about me they know my house they even they will have arrested me that's what i was made to understand they will have arrested me in my hometown on march 8th i was there i went for an ict program by senator yayi that's my senator and you know they will have arrested me there because some one of them told me they told me how they had been trailing me you know they told me how i entered the nuj bus from my hometown and how i alerted at uh, um, olomori in abe okuta and the particular time i alighted he told me and said they were watching me actually what i later learned was that they had been training me truly maybe for about two three weeks because when we were when we were when, when they arrested me and they were taking me away i saw that they had lodged in a hotel close to my wife's shop where they had been monitoring and it was from there that they located her shop and then they arrested her and my one-year-old baby and you know forced them to you know bring them to where i was that's the house so i want to thank everybody once again I'm very grateful for your support, for everything, for being steadfast in asking for my release. God. Now you could see what Bishop Oyedepo said in the video. Everything that he said there is even making the points. He's actually eating the nails on the head about everything that is going on in the country. A whole lot of people are complaining about the present situation of this country. A whole lot of people are not happy with the present situation of the country. Everything that was there that was actually balanced before President Bola met Tinubu got there. Immediately got there as the president of the country, everything just went down. You see the economy of the country going down every day. Nobody is actually happy. Nobody is happy with the present situation of this country. And you see what that journalist said there. The way it was actually arrested he was arrested as if he was kidnapped and abducted by the so-called people that we call nigeria security personnel you see that the security personnel of this country is going down every day with the way he was arrested and he even said the way he even explained the way all these soldiers came to his compound the way they were setting themselves in place just like someone that wants to arrest maybe a bar maybe maybe they wanted to arrest a terrorist with the way he was abducted they even told him to remove his glasses and they even blindfolded him and he even said that everything that was done on that day it was actually carried out by our security personnel and you see that how are you how, how do you not expect nigerians not to believe that the operation that went down in the Okoma community was illegal and it was not even supposed to be heard by Nigerians. If not that everything burst out of proportion that they couldn't control, that is the reason why Nigeria could hear about everything that went down in the Okoma community. It's obvious now that they, those soldiers did not only go there for peace talk but they have ulterior motive about everything that went down there in Okoma community. Now you could see as at the time they were explaining everything that went down in the Okoma community, there were a lot of secrecy about everything that went down there and you see as at the time these people were killing them, that was the reason why these people retaliated and you are, are you expecting those people that you are killing not to do anything as at the particular time you were doing all this thing. you will see that's the reason why bishop Oyedepo even came out and blast everything everybody that is actually in this present administration even blasted president bola met to nobu presently and you see with everything he said here i'm very sure it's very very obvious that the arrest of bishop Oyedepo is inevitable with everything that is actually going on and you already said that like jamia Mila already said it, that anybody that comes out in the open to come and accuse or say anything bad about the president will be arrested you can see the likes of vdm and others have been arrested after Bajami Amila came on national TV to tell Nigerians that if anybody should say anything against president, that he will be arrested. And you see everything that is actually happening now in the country. Everything that is going on in the country, starting from the abduction and the kidnapping of Nigerians, you see everything that is happening in the present administration is even times three and times four of what happened in the administration of Good Luck Jonathan. Nigerians are complaining bitterly about it. The economy of the country is going down. Even now that the naira to dollar rate is even coming down, a whole lot of Nigerians are even applauding Cardoso for his for his endless effort about this economy about this currency of a thing that has actually been devaluing since all this why you see nigerians will only applaud you when they see that you are working and they see that they cannot see the result of the work and the movement as you said they have been moving nigerians will criticize you they will say a lot of bad things about you now you could see everything that this man said about the nigeria security you could see what he said about the pre nigeria person nigeria security person as this the set of people that they said i went to a common community for peace talk that actually came
came to his house to arrest him illegally and you see that with the way he explained everything everything that was done there was illegal and you see that the percent of people that are sending all these people on all this illegal on all this evil perpetration all this evil perpetration is no more than our politicians and it's only our politicians that could be giving all this order just because you know that somebody is saying a whole lot of things that is exposing you people the only thing that will come to your mind is to arrest them illegally and you see that yeah they been these people were not exposed a whole lot of nigerians wouldn't know where this man went to they wouldn't know how you were actually disappearing to the thing but this man came on board and even exposed everything that went down my people share your opinion at the comment section let us know what you feel about everything that is going down in this country share your opinion at the comment section let us see everything and don't forget to share this video to every social media platform if you cannot share like it give it a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for us and if you are coming across this channel for the very first time do it to click the rest of the button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that youtube will notify you anytime we drop another trendy video see you in our next video bye for now